welcome back to my channel. Today I'm so excited because I'm gonna be doing my very first makeup geek haul. Oh my god! I cannot believe that this is in my hands right now. Um, so a couple of days, no, a couple of like weeks back, um, Diana, Dayang and I you know, decided that we want to get some makeup geek eyeshadows and honestly speaking, I have been wanting to try them for a really long time but I always put them off because I generally get put off by shipping fees anyway. Um, so that's why I didn't get it but the plan was that the three of us were going to bulk order together but Dayang decided not to so um, ju I just bulk ordered for me and Diana. So if you want, I think she will be doing a haul video. If you want to check out what she got from Makeup Geek, I suggest you go over to her channel but um, I will link her channel down below. I'm not sure when she's going to put out the video but um, once it's up, I will let you guys know. But anyway, I got, I didn't get like a billion and one eyeshadows. I just got like a couple of um, eyeshadows that I really really wanted and that I did not have in my collection. And yeah, I've, if you do not know who Makeup Geek is or what Makeup Geek is, um, it is a makeup brand that was started by a YouTuber and her name is Marlena. And I've heard so many good reviews about her eyeshadows and many people actually say that it is comparable if not better than MAC eyeshadows. And if you don't like... Um, buy eyeshadows regularly like from MAC or something you uh, MAC eyeshadows as in the eyeshadow pens they actually cost about 22 Singapore dollars and um, the Makeup Geek eyeshadows they retail for 5 yeah I have my iPad here um, they retail for 5.99 US dollars and um, honestly speaking when I just did the whole bulk order inclusive of shipping and everything it one eyeshadow actually cost almost half the price literally in Singapore dollars when I converted it half the price than MAC eyeshadows um, it just came in a box like that and the shipping to Singapore actually took about 10 days or 11 days and so this is what I see when I open my package it just says embrace your cosmetic edition and just when I thought this was it I flipped it around and look um it has a thank you note at the back and the person, I think I'm assuming the person who actually packed um, my package actually left a little note for me. Um, if any Ameri uh, you know, makeup geek uh, workers or the person who packed my package or wrote this note, Bailey, hi, I got your note and thank you so much. Uh, I, I, I don't know, I just feel like, oh my god, uh, it's weird, I'm weird. But anyway, it's so sweet of them to write like a personalised note just like that. Um, so yeah, that was nice. I got, I bought a total of, y'all are gonna laugh at me, I bought a total of 18 eyeshadows, um, but not all of them is mine. Got um, nine eyeshadows for um, Dayang for her birthday, which is like not until March. But I was thinking, you know, why, why wait? Let's just get it, you know. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna show you guys my eyeshadows. So they come bubble wrap like this. I'm gonna show you the real one. Yeah, it comes bubble wrap like this in a uh, in that box, and it's all stuffed with the foamy, sausagey looking things and. Um, when I reviewed all or when I just looked through all the eyeshadows inside the package, um, none of them were broken or anything so it was packaged very very well. So now um, I'm going to show you guys my eyeshadows. And if you're wondering if I got the Z palette, I did not. Um, simply because um, I already have my MAC palette which I actually don't really like anymore because it's not the new one, it doesn't have the window where I can see what's inside and apparently it's not like magnetic or something but I remember getting my Makeup Forever um, palette it's something like the Z palette it's just empty with a magnetic um, base at the bottom so that I can just stick in yeah like that I can just stick in the eyeshadows and I have not used this actually I got this when I was a makeup model for Makeup Forever and I didn't know what to use my voucher on so the lady was like why don't you just get this and I have not used it because I don't have any loose eyeshadows or deported eyeshadows 
Um, so yeah, I'm gonna use this to store my Makeup Geek eyeshadows. Okay, so the first eyeshadow that I see is the colour Homecoming. So it just looks like that. This is the old packaging. The new packaging is like this. It's a chevron. It looks like a chevron. This is the old. Uh, this is the new packaging and this is the old packaging. So don't be like alarmed or anything. I think they just changed to this packaging which is really really nice. Homecoming is described as a cool tone earthy buckskin colour and it's a velvety shadow makes a gorgeous wash all over the eyes and it has gold flecks in it. Oh my god I'm so excited. Okay. Oh wow. So it just looks like that and I'm gonna swatch it first um, like on my hand and then I'm gonna do a close up. Oh my god, it's so smooth. Oh god, look at that. Can you see that? Okay, I'm just gonna do... Oh! Oh girl! It is so pretty. Oh my god, can you see that? Oh my goodness, I'm gonna have a hell of a time swatching it for you guys. And it's so soft, you guys. So now I'm just gonna open... I'm gonna open my um, palette and I'm gonna just stick it inside. Woo! Debut! Now, this is Coco Bear, which is something that like a lot of people are talking about. It's a warm reddish brown colour and it just looks like that in the new packaging. So now I'm just gonna transfer it onto my palette. Oh my god, you guys, I'm so excited. It is so smooth. It's like, it looks like that. Oh god, okay, sorry, this is, I'm distracting you guys. It is so smooth. Okay, when I like buttery eyeshadows, but you know, sometimes the thing about buttery eyeshadows is that they can get quite like a lot of fallout. This one is like buttery, but at the same time, it's not so crumbly. Can you look at that? I'm now gonna swatch it. Oh! <laughs> sorry, I, I made weird sounds, but oh my god. This is Mocha and it's a very very rich dark chocolatey brown and that's yeah that's the like description. It is so amazing. I can so imagine myself like smoking this out um, in the outer corners and in the lower lash line. <gasps> Guys, it is seriously no joke. Oh whoa whoa oh my lord. Oh my god, I'm so excited right now. You have no idea. I'm shaking. I'm shaking as I'm swatching this. Next colour I have with me is Cosmopolitan. And it is like a... It looks like kind of a pinky rose gold colour. And in the side, it is described as... A chic rose gold shade that is sure to become a quick classic. Cosmopolitan is a shimmer. So pretty. It's like... It's like rose gold kind of colour. So now I'm gonna swatch it. Oh my god, this is so pretty, you guys. <gasps> I have to stop that, but oh my god. It's so pretty. And it's so buttery and soft. Next, I have a Vanilla Bean. And Vanilla Bean is described as light shimmer with peachy beige undertone. It just looks like that. It reminds me of um, like Urban Decay Naked 1 Foxy. Oh no, or Naked 2 Foxy. That's how it looks like. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Now I'm gonna swatch it. And I'm running out of places to swatch. So, again, very, very pigmented and buttery. Oh wow, can you see that's that? That's vanilla bean. I'm so excited! And the next one I have is Shimmer Shimmer. And um, this goes to no surprise. It is one of like Makeup Geek's um, best-selling um, eyeshadows. Whoever who has the Makeup Geek eyeshadows will surely have Shimmer Shimmer in their collection. Um, if I'm not wrong, people compare it to um, Max Nylon because it's so like um, it's a highlight that you can put it in the inner corners and it's so shimmery and pretty for the inner corner highlight. And um, it is described as metallic champagne. It looks like vanilla bean but like I think intense shimmer. So now I'm gonna swatch it. Oh wow. 
that's how it looks like. <sighs> Sorry. And I'm gonna swatch it somewhere on my hand. I'm gonna swatch it here. Woo! Can you see? It's such, it's like this one. Can you see? It's like a highlighter colour. It reminds me of the Balm's Mary Luminizer but even more like finely milled. Oh gosh, this will be so amazingly nice on the inner corners or in the inner corners. Last three, this is Burlesque and it is, I think it's like a dark burgundy colour with like flecks of glitter in it. This will be a good colour for like a smoky eye like it just looks like, oh gosh. And it just looks like that. Oh, that's how it looks like when I swatch it. Oh my god. This is so pretty. Oh my god. Oh my god. And the next one is Beaches and Cream. And I think this is a matte eyeshadow. It's good for like a simple day out where you just want like a wash of colour on your lids. Again, very, very buttery. This is how it looks like when I swatch it. And this is, oh wow. It's very, it's it doesn't look chalky at all in my opinion. It doesn't feel chalky. And you can even use this as a brow bone highlight as well. I don't know if you can tell but it's really, it's similar to my skin tone but <clears throat> it's something that I really really want and something that I will use a lot. And the last eyeshadow that I got from Makeup Geek, I wish I got more but you know we have to start small. It is the ever so famous creme brulee and so many YouTubers use this eyeshadow in the crease as a transition colour and it is described as a medium sand colour with a soft matte finish. Oh, wow, this is the perfect crease colour guys, seriously. Oh my god. Oh, can you see that? Oh wow. Okay, in person, it looks so great like I can see myself using this like in the crease and blending out a lot of things it is amazing and that's all the eyeshadows that I got that's my haul and yeah so I'm just overwhelmed with emotions right now <clears throat> because I this the, the, these eyeshadows flew all the way from the US so I'm gonna link everything down below the things that I um, the shades that I got and everything and yeah, I'm just so excited. Um, yeah. So I hope you found this video helpful. Please give the video a big thumbs up if you did. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Or if you want to see more videos from me. And also, if you would like to see a eyeshadow look based on the Makeup Geek eyeshadows, just let me know in the comments below and I will craft out a makeup look for you guys. And before I go, I would just like to tell you guys that, you know, I've gotten so many like, um, comments on YouTube and on Instagram congratulating me on my engagement and thank I just want to say thank you guys so so much for all your kind words I can definitely definitely feel the love it just means so so much to me and I think before this video goes up it's the vlog of my engagement day so I hope you guys enjoyed that video and if you haven't kept, uh, watched that yet I'm gonna link it in the comment I know I'm gonna link it in the description box below um, so yeah thank you so much for watching thank you so much for the support I love you guys so so much and I'll see you guys in my next video bye